Good morning, precious one. My name is Reverend Kofi Sapon. And this morning, I am so glad to come your way with the faith breakfast. As you prepare to go to work this morning, as you drive towards your workplace, as you begin your work in your workplace today, as you prepare your children to go to school, I urge you to first put the faith breakfast on your table. Therefore, I am inviting you. What we have on the table this morning is entitled, Fight the Good Fight of Faith. In Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, Jesus said, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Be moved from here to there, and it shall be moved. Why did Jesus Christ use the mustard seed? Actually, the mustard seed is one of the tiniest, most insignificant seeds found in the Middle East. It is a fast-growing annual herb. The mustard seed grows up to 10 feet tall in just about some few months, demonstrating the striking example of the potential of a small, insignificant seed. No matter how small the mustard seed is, when it is put into the soil, it is able to overcome all the obstacles and challenges that the soil and the weather may pose or bring on it. Romans chapter 12 verse 3 tells us that God has already given us a measure of faith. The day we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, we were apportioned a certain measure of faith, which is equal to the faith of a mustard seed. But the mustard seed on its own cannot do anything unless it has been put into the soil. Have you put your faith into the soil? Have you engaged your faith in that environment of fertile soil where it is supposed to grow? Kenneth Hagen stated in the Faithful that the only fight a Christian is called upon to fight is the fight of faith. If you are in any kind of fight, you are in a wrong fight. There is no need to fight the devil. Jesus Christ has already defeated him. There is no need to fight sin. Jesus is the cure for sin. But the only fight every Christian has been urged to fight is the fight of faith. The greatest enemy of our faith is lack of understanding of God's word. In Romans chapter 10 verse 17, we are told that faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. If you have already been given a certain measure of faith, how can you engage this faith that you have to move mountains? It is by planting the faith in a fertile soil where it can grow. By allowing that faith to grow and overcome challenges and obstacles. And how do we grow our faith? We grow our faith by continually listening to God's word and growing in the knowledge of God's word. In fact, all hindrances to faith center around the lack of knowledge because you cannot believe or have faith beyond your actual knowledge of the word of God. However, your faith will automatically grow as your understanding of God's word grows. If your faith is not growing, it is because your knowledge of God's word is not growing. And you cannot grow or develop spiritually if you are not growing in faith. The best resolution you can make today is that in the upcoming years your faith your knowledge of god's word will grow then give yourself the study of god's word it will automatically follow that your faith will grow hence you will grow and develop spiritually beloved faith will grow only when your understanding and your insight your wisdom in the word of god grows I pray this morning that God should give you his spirit that will help you to grow in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge, in the knowledge of his word. I pray for you that you should be able to invest or plant your, your feet in a fertile environment where it will be able to spring up and grow beyond the challenges and obstacles that it faces. This is the true fight of faith where you are able to overcome the challenges the wiles and tricks of the devil by growing yourself in the knowledge of god
God bless you this morning. Beloved, I want you to pray this prayer of confession with me. Say, Dear Jesus Christ, I thank you for giving me your way today. I pray and make a resolution that in the upcoming year, my faith will grow. I am determined that my knowledge of God's word will grow. My understanding of God's word will grow. Therefore, faith will come. My faith will grow. I will grow and develop spiritually. So help me, Lord. Amen. To be able to grow your knowledge in the word of God, I entreat you to always get the faith breakfast food every morning from Muti Minds TV. Your servant, your brother, your friend, your pastor, Reverend Kufi Sapon, will be bringing you every morning a package of the word of God that will help you to grow in faith. Share this message with a brother. Share this message with a sister. Share this message with a congregation. You can subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Moti Minds TV. We will be sending you messages that will help you to grow in faith every day. God bless you and have a wonderful day.